Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I actually wanted to do an introduction to who I am. Um, so yeah. Hi, my name is Maya and I have three autoimmune disorders. I stated this in a previous video that I had three autoimmune disorders. Um, when I was 16, I got really, really sick. And when I was 17, I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. Well, that was actually the wrong diagnosis, but not too far off from what it actually was. When I was 18, I was diagnosed with a neurological disorder known as neuromyelitis optica, which is why um, in my videos, you can kind of see this eye wanders off from time to time. So I have that diagnosis. It is similar to MS. Um, the only only real difference is, um, is that it affects your brain, your spine, and a lot of times your optic nerve. So I actually cannot see out of this eye and um, not a whole lot. And then in this eye, it's a tiny bit damaged. And then the next diagnosis that I got when I was 26, I believe, I think it was 26, um, was a mild form of lupus. Um, I don't exactly know what the lupus is affecting, but in case a lot of you don't know what lupus is, lupus is um, a rheumatological disorder where it can affect any organ in your body, from your skin, to your brain, to your heart, to your lungs, to your joints, anything. I kind of feel like it affects my joints um, just because I get joint pain in my knees like all the time. And then when it's like super cold outside or anything like that, sometimes I can feel it in my wrist, but I don't have arthritis. Um, but that's still up in the air, um, what the lupus actually affects with when it comes to my body. I currently am trying to get off of coffee, drinking coffee, because when you're diagnosed with something like coffee or um, if you have any type of kidney disease or anything like that, you know, coffee is not the best for your kidneys. So I'm currently getting off of coffee. And then um, the next diagnosis that I have is something known as Sjogren's syndrome. Now, this is, this goes along with the rheumatological disorders, but it also can deal with like, um, have to deal with your dental it's basically dry mouth, dry eyes. And what happens is your mouth, your body doesn't produce like the saliva or the moisture that your body needs. For me, it's not that, it's not that bad. Like I don't really get dry mouth or anything like that. But what can end up happening is you can start to produce more cavities in your mouth because the saliva helps with like cavities and stuff like that. But when your mouth is dry, you produce more cavities because you don't have the saliva to keep it moist in there. So, um, yeah, um, I really don't deal with that too, too much, but it's always a possibility. So yeah, those are my three diagnoses, my three autoimmune disorders. Um, I am currently, I'm currently um, trying to lose weight. It's been a journey, trust me, because when I get stressed out, <laughs> I'm one of those people that when I get stressed out, I tend to eat. So I am, on, but I am on a weight loss journey. I am trying to lose weight. It's difficult, trust me. It's very, very difficult, but you know, I feel like I can do it. It's just, you know, it's in my time. I don't know if anybody will want me to record like my weight loss journey. I'm a little hesitant just because I know when you put your weight loss journey on the internet, people can be extremely judgmental and tell you that you're doing this wrong or you're doing that wrong when in fact, you know, it's based on a person's body and individual body on how to lose weight. And I just don't want that to be something that happens to me if I put my weight loss journey on the internet um i know i've 
talked about it in previous videos, my weight loss stuff, but I've seen firsthand where people have gotten bashed for their weight loss journey. Because if you don't, if you're not losing weight when people think you should be losing weight or whatever, then you're going to get bashed like with no sympathy. So anyways, I am not married, have no kids. Um, I do have a godson who I love dearly. Um, and I have my best friend who was like my sister to no end. I actually have a few best friends actually, but you know, you have those that are like your sisters. So yes, she's one of those. And then I have a brother and a sister. They're both a lot older than I am, nine and a half. And then the other one is like 11 and a half years older than me. And then I actually have a half sister who's 20 years older than me. So when I say baby, I'm the baby. <laughs> I have a dog who is three. His name is Abu, my best friend. He's kind of like, he. my best friend actually um, bought, um, gave him to me as a gift. And it was because I was dealing with some severe depression and I was having like severe separation exact like I was going through it and she bought me him and ever since then he has been a blessing to me he's my best friend he's the sweetest dog ever so he's kind of like my therapy he's my therapy dog um he has an ESPA so he is my therapy dog for emotional support when I need it um but yeah um I never thought in a million years I'd be on YouTube doing YouTube. I mean, yeah, I would post videos and stuff with the hopes, but I never thought I'd be here, um, honestly. So that's it's pretty awesome, to be honest, because it's like I'm making new friends and I enjoy making friends and I enjoy talking to the camera. It's actually very therapeutic because whatever's on my mind, I get to release it into the camera. Um, because I have a lot of thoughts going on in my mind and just like just so much so the fact that I have people responding and listening is like super cool um but yeah um I do live with both of my parents currently um considering I can't drive myself to places but that never stops me from like doing like things and whatnot so hopefully one day I will Soon, I will be moving out and getting into my own place. And yeah, but that's just a little bit about me. Once again, if you have any questions, like ask me anything you want to know, especially when it comes to my diagnoses, because I do want to bring awareness to all three diagnoses, um, because it's important to bring awareness to certain things that people haven't heard of before. And it's good to be educated on certain things because you may not know, like a lot of people don't know about the spoons theory. It mostly pertains to lupus, but it pertains to any autoimmune disorder out there. So if you have the time, look up about the spoons theory and how it can affect a person with an autoimmune disorder. A lot of people can look at me and I mean, they can see something's wrong with me, but they don't know that I have three autoimmune disorders. And it's like, you can't judge a person from the outside. That's what that means when they say, don't judge a book by its cover you really like a person you don't know what's going on through the inside so it's really 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 important to just like not judge or anything like that um i'm sharing my story my journey because i just want to put it out there and i just want you guys to know that i myself deal with things and i want to be there to help you deal with whatever you're going through that's why i set up my email address just in case like you needed a friend or somebody to talk to or just tell me about yourself whatever it may be and once again that email address is mayawaysin at gmail.com and I look forward to hearing from a lot of you and getting to know you as my friends and, you know, just having a good time on my channel. Um, soon I, I want to get on live and I want to do live videos so we can like really have some fun, maybe Friday nights and I bring my friends on and stuff like that and, you know, just have some fun. 
so yeah i just want to say thank you guys to for watching my video i really enjoy everyone's comments and yeah just let's keep doing this i love it so i will see you guys in my next video bye